Hey, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com and RCMania.com, the place for toy grade RC reviews. This is a little video to go with my review at RCMania.com of the Silverlit XTRC01. It's a three in one RC car. Let me demonstrate. One. That's two. And they call that three. You could actually get four out of it because leaving the larger rear tires on. Ta da! Four different configurations with one RC car. It's really simple to swap parts around with the nice snap connections, and it's actually really fun too. There's even another type of transformation that it'll do that was not advertised very much, and that's with the battery compartment. By default, you put six double A's in there, and I'm using rechargeable double A's. But you can take out that entire battery holder, just unplugs right here, and then you can plug in any standard 9.6 volt nickel metal hydride rechargeable pack from any manufacturer, as long as it's, like I said, 9.6, using just this, this standard size and uses that standard white Molex connector or Tamiya connector. And that'll fit right in here, plugs right in, and then the battery door is also good. You don't need to use a Phillips screwdriver. It just locks like that. And that'll let you drive a little bit faster and a little bit longer on charge. The controller is a pistol grip unit. It's got steering and it is digital proportional. And it's got forward and reverse, which is also digital proportional. On off switch and an AB selector. So you can actually run two of these at the same time, even if they're exactly the same color. But would you believe that the controller transforms too? You see, Silverlit has recognized that not everyone is right-handed. Normally with pistol grip controllers, left-handed folks have to hold them like this, or maybe kind of put it at a weird angle, which is just not at all comfortable or drive from really from this side. So Silverlit said, hey, why don't we just let them move the wheel to the other side? So simple, such a simple concept, so well executed, no screws, no fancy anything. You just pull it out and change it, flip a little switch on the top and you're done. I know a lot of left-handed RC maniacs are really going to appreciate that. So thank you very much, Silverlit. Good job. And when it comes to driving the XTRC01, it's pretty quick. This is actually with a rechargeable battery pack installed. It's a little bit slower than this with double A's, not a whole lot slower. Uh, like I said, it does have digital proportional control, uh, but at the rate at which it steers, <laughs> you really have to be very gentle on the steering itself. Otherwise, it will take a very sharp turn. The car is very responsive and very lively, and the tires hook up well on an asphalt surface. They are real rubber, although they are a fairly hard compound, but it's just soft enough that with the width of them, they're kind of semi-slick, so they have a little bit of tread on them, but they have enough width that with the weight of the vehicle, they do get very good grip. Now, speaking of the tires, because this does come with extra tires, pulled it in and swapped to the large rear tires, keeping the two fronts just in their normal configuration. With the bigger rear tires, the car is faster still, noticeably faster. That's because the larger diameter of the tires effectively gives you a faster gear ratio. Now, it would have taken some of the fun out of it if the larger tires were just better in every way. Everybody would just run the larger tires and forget about the small ones. However, with the larger tires on, the car has a tendency to spin out a little bit in turns if you're going at full speed. You saw right there. So it's not as stable and it's not as good for going around courses that have a lot of turns on them. It's better for uh, just driving more straight and along long straightaways where you're gonna go point to point and then turn around. Next, I installed the single front wheel and ended up deciding to put the normal sized smaller rear wheels back on. In this configuration, the car was able to go over bumps better because that front tire is so large. It also doesn't have a front bumper like this, so it's not really going to hit something. It's just going to go directly onto the tire, which can then climb over an obstacle. Interestingly, this version had more straight line stability because it didn't steer as sharply as it did with two front wheels. 
For the final configuration, I went ahead and put the large rear tires back on, leaving the single front wheel on. Now this one was the most interesting to me. The large rear tires give it the high top speed, but reduce its stability in turns and make it want to spin out a little bit. However, the single front wheel helps to remove steering and actually stabilizes it in turns a little bit. And as a result, it kind of balances out and this one steers very well. With good speed and good steering, if you're at full speed and you hit a turn, oftentimes the inside rear tire will actually pop up off the ground. You can see it and you can also hear it when it comes back down. It's the Silverlit XTRC01 3-in-1 RC car. It's available at Radio Shack, and if you want to learn more information about this car, be sure to check out the full review at rcmania.com. See you there!